Okay, we're back on the job. Let's get into it. I can't wait. Look at this. Starting to come alive. Needs a little bit of colour in here. And we can do that with a bit of that Volution Violet, I reckon, when instead of that dark, we, it's going to be a much better contrast against the, uh, or complementary in against that colour that we've got in there. Might get a brush, bigger brush into that. Let's see what we can do. That's better. So now we've got that beautiful violet, that Volution Violet in the water, and it looks great against that yellow, complementary colour, of course. Get around the edges, and we can even pick up a bit of that orange as well now, just to get split complementaries everywhere. Look at this. This is where it starts to really come alive. Just adding certain colours can make all the difference to your paintings. Lost a little bit of that. We'll put it back in. A bit of the yellow ochre here. Dirty brush, don't worry about it. Pick it up. A little bit of dark in there as well. So we've got that yellow ochre look happening. A little bit of light there. Where the... That's better. That's the effect I'm after. And take it right down to the bottom of your painting. So we're going to put our rock in in a moment. We've got those beautiful colours in the in the ground there, and we can, on the beach I should say, we're going to put our rock in, go with a little bit of our burned umber, even darken it up a bit. So we're going to go just up the horizon, just over the horizon, always looks better. Put that rock in. Got a bit of white there, but that's okay. Don't worry about it, you can go over it. There's our rock in the painting. Bit of dark there to darken it up, and I'm going to put a bit of reflection in there as well, so always looks better if you can do that. So we've got that reflected rock in the water there now on the beach. And we need to put a little bit of colour on that rock, so we're going to start off with a little bit of this orange, pick up a little bit of yellow ochre, light source is left to right, so that's where we need it. Bit of yellow ochre over there as well. Don't overdo it, we just overdid it. So we can take that out, put a bit of dark back in. Get it too light, it won't look like a rock. That's better. So we can actually pick up this now and even put in a, a few rocks around the place. Like one big one over here. We'll even get our knife and just go around the front of this rock, a little bit of wash. Lay it on, that's the way to go. A little bit of blue from the sky around the corner as well, back over here in the shade, a little bit of blue. See, it's all coming into play. It looks nice because we're using the colours in the sky, and that's where it's coming from. So it's very important to keep looking around your painting when you're going to introduce a new colour. Make sure it's already in there. Right, so we've got that in the painting there now. We can just put a bit of our white wash coming up the beach. We can even just run a bit of white water, like a little bit of a wave running up the beach there. Now you're not going to see that too much until we put a little bit of that dark under it. So we can go around there as well, mix it up, add them on. Looks all the better. So you're going to pick up a liner here and I'm going to very quickly just run under it with our Volution Violet and a little bit of our dark and we're just going to highlight that wave that little wave running up the beach, you can do the same thing there, like it's just joining up. And just that little bit of dark under there. Now the white's standing out, okay? So I couldn't even see it before, but there it is. It's just created a whole different effect with our painting now. A few darks under some of these back here as well. Got to have that little bit of shade. A little bit in here too, don't ever do it. Have a look around your painting, see where it needs it. If you don't like it, you can take it off with a knife, you can take it off with a tissue and clean it up and do it again. Okay, I'm going to put in a few, uh, a lot of rocks actually, so what sort of brush will I use? I could use a knife, I could use a brush. I might use this little half inch flat we've got here. Seems to make decent little rocks. Let's have a look. You've got to experiment, that's the thing. Try all your different brushes and see what they can do for you because that's what it's all about. Find out what all those tools in that paint box of yours can do for you. And the only way to do that is experiment. 
So we're going to get a heap of rocks around here and one even over the top of that so the water's running behind it and a few over here as well. Pick up some darks. Don't worry about it too much, just put them anywhere. One thing you don't do is make them uniform. So make some big ones, little ones. One's back in the water here. We're going to put a little bit of light on some of these soon and it's going to come alive. So that's a good effect. This will bring our eye into the picture as well. And just maybe one or two over the, over the top of this reflection as well. There we go. That's looking pretty good. All right, just going to clean that brush. We can get a knife or a brush if you like. We might use a brush this time. And just put a little bit of light over the top of those rocks because that's when the light's going to be hitting them. So we'll just tidy up that one as well while we've got that in our hand. A bit of light on there where it's hitting that rock. Even a bit of a ridge there. Makes it look all the better. And now we're going to go straight under some of these rocks underneath. Break that one up. Just hit it on the top edge of those rocks and bring them alive. Because what we're doing once again is we're playing lights against darks. That one needs a, a knife on that one, so we'll come back to that. But the smaller ones, you can just easily get a, a paintbrush and put it on there. Little one there. You can see it's just coming alive here now. It's nowhere near finished. There's all these little, just these little tit bits you can add to your painting that make all the difference. You know, over the years I've had a lot of people who've been learning to paint and uh, what they've uh, shown me up to date has been great, but what they probably needed most, more often than not, I find most people have a, a great painting up to what they've done, but they just haven't finished the little highlights. And once you show them what to do and how to do it, it just makes makes their paintings just totally change completely from from nothing to something that someone even wants to buy. So just the little knick-knack things you've got to learn to do. We're going to put a, do that with a knife, but that's okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to run a bit of this around there, not with that knife, this one, and go around some of these rocks with a bit of this light colour, just to make them look like there's a bit of water running up in the beach and that. Bit of white, we're coming up towards the end of this painting, so it's come together very quickly. And just need a bit of a light on the beach there, we can do that with this. And we're going to pick up a bit of that, I like the light just shining on the beach. To bring our eyes back into that painting, I'd like to see a little bit more of that dark around the edges, like a bit of shadow under those rocks maybe, and just on the edges coming back in. So, a little bit of dark around the edges there, even across the bottom, just to highlight this spot in the painting that we're looking at. Once again, we've got our little fan, we can just tidy up some of those spots there. Just about to come up to a break for our last segment to finish it off. And we can have that continue on, and we'll see you then.